Day three of NFL free agency is in the books. At least I think it's day three. It might be day th four, two, whatever comes before and after three. But listen, also, you might hear some banging around in the kitchen. My wife is throwing stuff uh, around everywhere as she's my, I'm sorry, my gorgeous wife is throwing stuff around the kitchen as she's preparing dinner. I'm very grateful for that. But, um, you know, there's going to be a little bit of noise, so I do apologize. But uh, it is what it is. And we love her very much. And I'll be doing dishes later. So it balances out. But, Back to the subject at hand here. The Las Vegas Raiders defense is coming together. So, yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm so excited for a lot of the thing that's really happened with the Raiders, uh, specifically tonight, um, or today, because, you know, the first day, eh, not a ton, uh, but, you know, these last couple of days have been very active for them, uh, and I'm really excited to see. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a background on just what we've seen now. The most si uh, recent signing, Anthony Averett, uh, away from the Baltimore Ravens, a former fourth-round pick out of Alabama, a guy that ran a 4-3-6 at the Combine, so he's got speed for days. Last year had a kind of a mini breakout, uh, mini breakout year, um, started a total – uh, 14 games ha and played in 14, so started every game he played in. Um, had three interceptions, a 56.3 PFF grade. Listen, this isn't an amazing signing, but I really like the pick here, and I feel or the, the signing here because I feel like he's going to be a, a really big piece to their defense moving forward. At the very least, um, you know, he is going to be a guy that uh, again does come in and provide them with good depth. But honestly. Um, I, 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 I see this being a lot more than that. I believe it's a one-year deal worth like $4.5 uh, million, which is big. Uh, because, again, you're seeing a lot of these guys that come in that aren't necessarily – they're not big name, uh, big money, but they are good quality um, signings, and that's what you want. That's exactly what you want, especially uh, – and with the, with, that's what we've said. Dave Ziegler has, done, has, has a history of bringing in guys that just um, overall – they find a way to come in and do their thing uh, at, at a, a fraction of the cost of a player that's, you know, way up there like J.C. Jackson, who rightfully deserves all that money. Yep, it is one year, four and a half million dollars, um, you know, and I do think. Uh, again, this is uh, this is a good signing. Um, you are going to still not want to give up if there, if there is a quality corner. Despite all the you know Rock Yasin and Anthony Everett, all, all these guys that they brought in, um, you still if there's a quality corner, you go get them. I don't care because we're building for the future um, as well, and you got a couple of guys to help you out with some quality depth pieces and potentially other guys um, that can start as well. So, and I mean also, I feel like a, a big part of the Raiders defense again is going to be pressure. Uh, and We'll get into uh, obviously the Jones uh, that that signing and everything as well. But um, right now on the outside, as it pertains to corner and everything, I feel like I mean you got Rocky Asin, you got uh, you know um, Darius Phillips as well, Trayvon Mullen Jr. as well as um, a lot of those other players. You got a lot of good uh, Nate Hobbs, who he's gonna start. I don't care. Nate Hobbs is a stud. He deserves a lot more credit than he's gotten. It's an absolute shame. But overall, we're gonna touch on a lot of the other defensive pieces here um, that they have really, uh, in my mind. Again, this is a lot of good signings, and this defense is finally coming together. And we've said it from the very beginning, like, Derek Carr, just just give him this man a defense. Like, he has finally suffered enough. Just give him a top 15, 20 defense and let this man go to work. I mean, Chandler Jones, we like we teased a little bit, three-year deal, $51 million. I uh, had, what, 10 and a half sacks last year? In three years, I expect him to be that 8 to 10 sack guy, but this is that he has the potential. I think, what was it, over the last six, seven years, he's averaged like 14 sacks a, a, a year. So listen, he's still got a lot left in the tank. Chandler Jones is going to be a very good sign. Um, you know, and obviously uh, he is going to be a big time uh, player for him in the long run. So uh, obviously, what is it? Ten years, ten and, or ten years over a hundred sacks, over one hundred and seven. Excuse me. So um, I really like Chandler Jones. I think he's going to have a big time year, um, and I think he's going to continue to pay off uh, for teams that he just suits up for because he's. He's a stud. He's an absolute stud, um, and I'm really excited to see what he does with the Raiders. But that doesn't end there. No, the Raiders continued. Um, another, another key signing that I thought was very big for him was also uh, by Lil Nichols. Again, I never uh, by Lal. I never get these names right. But Nichols is a big time signing here. Um, you know, two year contract worth 11 million dollars, uh, nine million dollars in guarantees. Um, and again, he's that guy that. Uh, in the middle that gives you a little bit of a little something something in the middle that uh, that pass rush he's going to be solid against the run but he's going to come in in that pass rush and he's going to give you something he is going to give you uh, that interior pressure that you really missed and that you really wanted to see a little bit more out of in my opinion out of the Raiders last year so he's going to give you some interior pressure he's going to give you a solid guy in the middle um, and I'm really excited for that as well 6 3 3 oh, 2 or whatever he is uh, something like that former fifth round pick from the Bears I mean if, if you just look at his career over the last couple of years he's done some good things and again Darius 
Darius Phillips, a uh, one-year, two point five or two point two five million dollar contract. Another corner, at least, at the very least, a good depth piece and a special team piece. They also um, got. Um, uh, Jacob Johnson, the fullback, as well uh, from the Patriots. So, I mean, you love it there. Uh, I, I, you love fullbacks. I just love fullbacks. I really do. But also, again, the Raiders, they did a lot of things today. Obviously, um, Rakia Sin with the unique Ngagwe trade. Uh, listen, I, I really feel like that was more of like kind of just dumping the some of y Unique's um, contract. I think he was due to make something like five to ten million. I can't remember off the top of my head, but overall, this defense is finally coming together. This is what we've waited for. Derek Carr has waited for a top fifteen defense his entire career, and I'm just so excited for it because I really think he's going to have uh, a lot of help on defense. But it doesn't stop here. Obviously, they still need a wide receiver. They still need a tackle. Um, I would like some outside linebacker help, but I mean, I will actually now that I think about it, Chandler Jones is here, so never mind, we're good to go. Get some more inside linebacker help for that 3-4 and obviously there's going to be some more 4-3 stuff but I would like you know Denzel Perryman he's a stud but how uh, much longer can he keep it up he's already 29 but I think uh, at least a couple more seasons he can but I think overall you uh, you would like to see some more interior linebacker help also some more corner help as well but I'm really excited this defense is oh it's finally coming together you love to see it but let us know what you guys think about the Las Vegas Raiders defense finally coming together make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. We love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also, give us a listen and sub on iTunes. Uh, and if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Las Vegas Raiders defense finally coming together.